Hello, hello. This is Paula from Paula's Wonderful Life coming at you. And today we're going to tour my dining room and my kitchen. Um, it is a gloomy day out. Very cold here in Wisconsin. I will be hosting a nighttime whole house tour to music um, probably in another week. But this is my dining room for the holidays. And I think I'm pretty much done. What I like about this house is it has this shelf above the, the three windows. And I love snowmen and this just gives me a place to display. None of my candles are on because they're on a timer but I will show you what it looks like with them all on during the nighttime tour. I've collected all these over the years. Some of them were gifts, but most of them are from garage sales and thrift stores. So cute. I do like to decorate with red in my dining room and my kitchen. I think it's just a cheerful color and it does um, promote appetite, the color red. So it's fitting. Lots of snowmen, lots of berries. I found this holly gar garland at my local thrift store. And it just looks vintage and retro. Reminds me of childhood days. I have little fairy lights in here that light up at night, so it's really pretty. <laughs> so cute. You'll hear Fritzy in the background snorting and grunting. Because that's what he does. <laughs> Here's my crystal that I found <clears throat> at my thrift store. All ready for some bubbly or some red wine. I found her at my local thrift store three months ago. She was $10. Made in Italy. Gorgeous. I'm all set up for a little get together. I'm going to be having this coming weekend with some friends. And I found these little clip on candles. They're battery operated and they have a remote and a timer. Found those off of Amazon. So I have them dotted around here and there on my little porch. And the chandelier, I just put some garland around there with some zip ties. And then I strung some beads that I had. Um, I have the same ones on the tree and I had some extra and then these. I got off of Amazon. They're an amber color. And then I had some extra ones from um, when I purchased them from my candelabras in my living room. I hung them. But it's really pretty. I have a combination of an amber bulb and then I also got these flame-like bulbs off of Amazon. So I have a couple of those in there also. Really pretty at night. Flickers. And then this tree I bought at a local consignment store here in town, probably, oh my goodness, six, six years ago. And it's a beaded tree. And it came with everything you see on there, little miniature ornaments. And then it has like some miniature toys underneath. It's really cute. 
and my grandkids love looking at it. And then I do have built-ins. <clears throat> I just have a little greenery in here and then I also have a little flicker candle that comes on at night. Yeah, it's really cozy. And ivy, of course. Ivy. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to go into my kitchen. <clears throat> you will notice that I did take this. It was a it's a bookshelf, but it reminds me of the upper half of a hutch. And I said I wanted to incorporate it into my kitchen. It was in my entryway, you'll see. But I did put it in here, and it's worked out really good. I have all my sugar, my flour, my measuring cups. This I got at an antique sale and he's kind of creepy you pull the chain and he plays a song and his eyes move back and forth <laughs> but I kind of like creepy too so I thought he was fun some greenery some ornaments hanging, <clears throat> a lot of bottle brush trees, so cozy, I mean just a bowl with some antique kitchen utensils, it just looks good. And there's still room for someone to sit down at the table if they need to. I bought that little snowman head at a garage sale. It's a tree topper. So I put it on my little flocked artificial tree here in my kitchen. I love all the ornaments little coffee pots, little top hats, snowman, so cute. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like socks and underwear again. <laughs> it is. We've had some mild days here this past week, but today feels like winter. <clears throat> A little sugar cookie recipe. Everything you see is thrifted. Of course. <laughs> I painted this out of a little mini muffin pan. I also created the little clip-on display. I get crafty once in a while. I also made the little shaker snowman and I made these two here. so pretty lit up at night and you'll recognize my little scale that I purchased here 
two, three weeks ago. And I found these at my thrift store. They're little gingerbread cookie measuring spoons. I thought those were cute. <clears throat> these little towels, I got two of them. They were only 99 cents at my local Walmart. I love my kitchen. I recently added this because I needed extra storage and I also needed a spot to prepare food. I needed some extra counter space, so I got this. And I did have this already, and this will be nice for cutting out um, Christmas cookies, rolling them out. And I've got my little cocoa bar or tray all ready to go for some hot chocolate. <clears throat> This was a night light, but it doesn't light anymore, so I just thought I'd stick it in the basket there so it peeks out. And there's the other little towel that I purchased from Walmart. I keep all my utensils and my ironstone platters, plates. I keep everything out on the counter because I have kids and grandkids coming and going, and Grandma's house always has food, so readily there for using. <laughs> Cute. This is actually a wax warmer, but I didn't like the big bright bulb, and I actually, it's scary because they get really hot, so I just thought it would be cute as a nightlight. Fritzy, you are just trying your darndest to get attention, aren't you? And then off the kitchen, I have a little, at one time it was probably a mud room, um, and then the door to the basement. But I have a little decor out here, and I do have little flicker candles that come on at night. I made this a couple years ago. I used to make and sell stuff off of Facebook Marketplace, and I did have a booth um, at a consignment shop, a local consignment shop. But with my job and everything going on, it just kind of became too much, so I let it go. But it's something that I'd like to do again. And I can, when the time is right. Something else I painted, an old percolator. It was avocado green, I painted it pink. and Kind of got a little pioneer woman look to it with some painted flowers. And then I'm all ready for my herb drying process this coming summer. I purchased all these apothecary jars the other day at my thrift store because I do like to dry herbs and use them. So here's my cozy kitchen and my dining room. I love my little house. It's a lot of work putting out all this decoration, all this decor, but you know, when you're done, it's worth it. So worth it. All right. 
that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned for my whole house tour, um, my nighttime tour with all my candles going and just music. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Alrighty. Have a happy Sunday.